Hey everybody, we're back with something a little bit different today, and that is an unboxing video. I placed an order with the Citrus Clonal Protection Program in California, also known as the CCPP, and I placed it about a month ago, and now uh, weather is finally warming up, and Budwood is becoming available to ship again, and to my surprise, this went out this week, and we got it very, very quickly. Uh, for those of you who haven't ordered through them before, I guess two things to keep in mind. Um, one is that they do ship very, very quickly. Uh, they ship it overnight, so I was notified yesterday, and we got it today. Uh, and secondly, it is quite expensive. Uh, you do have to pay for the uh, phytosanitary uh, inspection certificate, uh, as well as the overnight shipping to ensure that the cuttings get to you uh, as well as paying per bud, uh, which I do believe it's probably, I want to say it's $5 per bud and a minimum of three buds per variety. So you're basically looking at $15 per scion of the varieties that they have. So it's really something that's reserved more for if you're trying to obtain uh, a rare and hard to find variety uh, and you want a clean source. So all of their material is, of course, disease-free and a very good quality generally. So I've ordered through them once before, and I had some gift cards, and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to order through them again because they did have some rare varieties that I wanted to obtain mature scions for. That way I could graft them and add them to our trial rows, and we can eventually find out the fruit quality on them too because you'll see as we get to the varieties in this box, there are some unknowns and there are some promising things about the varieties we ordered. So without further ado, let's open this box and find out what's going on here. All right, so I think, there we go, we pull that tab. And inside here, look at that. So that is everything that's in the box. So it comes with these papers here. It has our varieties and it has what looks like a little like infographic about citrus pests and HLB. Uh, very important to note too, especially if you're in a quarantine state, the CCPP uh, is probably one of your only sources of clean material besides uh, ordering from nurseries that are certified with the state. Uh, but if you live in like California, Texas, um, Florida, a, a lot of those states have their own programs or they cooperate with the CCPP to provide uh, this budwood. But you guys can probably see here the varieties that we ordered. We have the C50 Force um, Citrange, and that's interesting actually. I'm pretty sure these are actually citrandarins, but I'm not 100%. Maybe I'll double check that uh, before I post this video here. But we have the C54, the C57, and then the US1283. <clears throat> so what I remember about the C54 and C57 is that these were Sunki Mandarin and Trifolia Orange hybrids. And they actually received pretty good feedback about their taste. Um, we heard from someone in the Lynn Citrus group uh, that had tried the fruit from these rootstock uh, citrus varieties, and C54 had a decent bit of sweetness and pretty juicy fruit, very attractive tree, uh, but C57 in particular seemed to have uh, less bitterness than some of the other varieties, while also having some sweetness, some acidity, and a, uh, it was peelable. So you could peel it and separate it into segments. And um, the guy who tried it actually said that C57 was good enough where uh, his wife was asking for seconds of that one, which to me is very promising if it passes that test. So here are our scions of these. And as you can see, even though I ordered three buds of each variety, there's actually two whole uh, bud sticks in each of these. So C54, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's, let's call that, so eight times two, 16 buds in here. So I could make 
16 trees of C54 citrange, uh, or citrandarin. Um, it is funny that they label it citrange there. I will look into that. Uh, C57 looks even larger, so you could tell this was taken from some very vigorous growth. Uh, but we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 of C57. And then they included uh, an additional smaller one with 1283. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 13, 14 of those. So all of these came with more than 10 buds, even though I only ordered three. And that has tended to be the case with the CCPP. They do give you uh, more than you ordered, which you can see there. I only asked for three buds of these. Um, but I don't think I specified US 1283 is an interesting one and totally experimental. It's a hybrid between what I believe is called a Nincat Mandarin and a trifoliate orange. Uh, it's a very obscure, wild type of mandarin. Uh, it kind of reminded me of the Sunki and others that have been producing actually really promising hybrids. Uh, and given the lack of what we know about this one, I thought it would just be interesting to have something a little different. I don't think a lot of people are really playing around with that hybrid and that combination. So I thought it was a fun one to at least try uh, we could see how it performs and see if the fruit are anything worth dealing with. But again, the one I'm most excited for here is C57. Uh, if I haven't already, I'll put up a picture here of the C uh, C57 uh, citrandarin fruit. And then I'll also put up a picture of the C54 fruit. So you can see just how promising those actually look. Um, they look to be quite edible. And again, they received actually really positive feedback uh, on the Tropical Fruit Forum uh, from the person who originally re uh, reviewed it. So uh, that was great to see, and it's really exciting to um, now have these in person because the seeds are a bit easier to acquire, but actually getting the budwood, that's a whole different thing. And um, if I didn't have these gift cards, I would be paying almost $100 for the scions that you see here. But I will try and reproduce more trees than we even need just for our rows. So we will have a few of these for sale at least. So if anyone was looking to acquire these types of citrandrins, if you wanna try something different, um, we will have a couple for sale. Uh, citrandrins as a whole have been very good compared to a lot of the other trifoliate hybrids. So we're really trying to kind of lean more into that category of hybrids and see what we can uncover and see what we can use in terms of uh, genetics for hybridization, uh, hybridization for new varieties. So anyways, that is what we have. That's what we ordered. Um, thank you to the guys at CCPP for providing this very high quality material and it is clean and ready to bud. And this looks the perfect size for some of the rootstock that I have. So can't wait to start grafting these. That'll be happening pretty much right away. So I will get to that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions about this program or ordering or anything like that, uh, leave them in the comments, but also check out the Fruit Mentor channel. I know he's done a lot of educational videos on this exact topic, so if you haven't seen his videos already, I do recommend checking them out. He also has some other interesting citrus content you might be interested in. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.